There's no denying the beauty of a planet with a ring system. While Saturn gets the spotlight for its rings, it's not the only world in our solar system to have them. Half of the major planets have rings, so let's visit them and see how they differ. Since it's familiar, let's start with Saturn and its iconic rings. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, and it is best known for its expansive ring system. Easily visible through a small telescope from Earth, Saturn's main, bright rings span a whopping 282,000 kilometers in diameter, about 175,227 miles across. It should also be noted that Saturn possesses a very faint outer ring, known as the E-ring. The outer edge of the E-ring reaches nearly 480,000 kilometers from Saturn's center. Measuring the entire span from one outer edge of the E-ring to the opposite side gives an astonishing diameter of approximately 960,000 kilometers, roughly 596,516 miles. While the exact origin of these rings is not fully understood, most theories suggest that they are the result of objects like moons, comets, and asteroids venturing too close to Saturn and either colliding with other objects or being torn apart by its powerful gravity. The aftermath would have been chaos, with scattered debris expanding all around the planet. Over the course of many years, these fragments eventually settled into a flatter, disc-like orbit around the gas giant. These rings are incredibly wide, but Saturn's rings are also remarkably thin. In fact, the main rings are typically around 10 meters thick, although the diffuse outer rings, like the E-ring, can have a broader vertical distribution, reaching up to one kilometer, or 33 feet to a little over half a mile. This emphasizes the delicate, disc-like nature of this massive structure. Although the rings look solid from Earth, Saturn's rings are actually made up of countless billions of bright icy chunks with traces of rock. These chunks can vary dramatically in size, with some pieces being as small as a speck of dust, while others are as large as a mountain. Saturn's rings are complex, with many gaps and divisions. The magnificent system is generally categorized into seven main rings, designated in order as D, C, B, A, F, G, and E, even though many faint ringlets add to the overall structure. The naming of the rings may seem random, but they were named in the order they were discovered, starting with A. Some of the rings' gaps even harbor moons, such as the shepherd moons Pan and Atlas. The influence of these moons can produce wave-like shapes along the edges of the rings as they orbit. This phenomenon was captured brilliantly by the Cassini spacecraft when it flew within 28,000 kilometers, or 17,400 miles, of the small moon Daphnis. The moons in these gaps can also be affected by the rings. Take the small moon Pan, for example, whose prominent ridge around its equator is caused by the gradual collection of ring material as it passes by. I could go on and on about Saturn's rings, but for now, let's move on to see what other worlds have rings of their own. Now, we are approaching Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. I know what you may be thinking. It doesn't look like Jupiter even has rings. This is because its rings are extremely faint and difficult to see. However, Jupiter's rings have been observed by multiple spacecraft and telescopes. Jupiter's rings are made up mainly of fine dust particles, tiny rocky and icy debris that are believed to be ejected from its small inner moons by constant micrometeoroid impacts. The main brighter ring of Jupiter spans about 257,880 kilometers, or 160,239 miles in diameter. In addition, Jupiter also has a faint halo near the planet and extended gossamer rings whose outermost edge reaches out to about 280,000 kilometers, or 173,984 miles from Jupiter's center 
combined to yield an overall end-to-end -end diameter of roughly 560,000 kilometers, or 347,968 miles. There's something quite beautiful about turbulent worlds like Jupiter, nurturing their own subtle yet expansive rings. Now, let's move on to Uranus. This ice giant, although not as famous as Saturn when it comes to rings, possesses a fascinating system of 13 distinct rings. Discovered through stellar oculation studies, Uranus's rings are very narrow and dark. Unlike Saturn's bright, icy bands, these rings are made up of larger particles that absorb sunlight because they have been darkened by rocky material, giving them a muted, almost shadowy appearance. It is thought that Uranus's rings may have formed from the breakup of former moons. The outermost ring lies around 97,700 kilometers from Uranus's center, which means the full end-to-end -end diameter of the ring system is approximately 195,400 kilometers, about 121,416 miles. The rings are further shaped by the gravitational influence of small, nearby shepherd moons, such as Cordelia and Ophelia, which help maintain their sharp boundaries. Finally, we approach Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system, with a ring system that is mysterious as it is faint. Neptune's rings were confirmed by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989. They consist of dark, clumpy material, and instead of forming a continuous band, some sections appear as incomplete arcs or segments. Neptune has at least five main rings in orbit around the ice giant. The outermost point of Neptune's rings is found at about 62,933 kilometers from Neptune's center, leading to an overall end-to-end -end diameter of 125,866 kilometers, around 78,210 miles. In addition, Neptune's ring arcs, especially in the Adams ring, are particularly intriguing because they do not form a continuous band, but rather appear as bright segments. Researchers believe that gravitational resonances with small moons may be responsible for confining these arcs and maintaining their shape. These features offer a glance into the delicate balance of forces in the outer solar system. In exploring the unique ring systems of Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, we uncover a common theme with their rings. Moons, either the destruction of previous ones or the shedding of dust from current moons likely played a huge role in the formation of these planetary rings, even if the end results can vary. I find it truly fascinating that something so delicate and beautiful can form from chaos and destruction. Each ring system, whether clearly visible or faintly sketched against the vastness of space, tells its own story of collisions, gravitational influence, and continuous evolution. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the ringed wonders of our cosmic neighborhood. I'm glad we could share a moment in time here together. If you enjoy this video and would like to show your support, feel free to give it a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or share it with other curious minds. These small actions truly help a great deal. I would also like to thank this amazing community for the ongoing support. I truly appreciate you all. If you'd like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.